telling you a radical. I cannot tell a lie. I cut down that tree. America doesn't use propaganda. Oh, no. They don't use hate. So, is that our new flag there? Yes, Mike Lee sewed it. Mike Lee and Betsy Lee sewed that flag. Can I tell a lie? I did not, or I did cut down that tree. That ain't no fucking cherry tree. In the pines, in the pines, where did you sleep? Mike Lee sewed that flag. Red, white, and blue. Yay. So, didn't we buy Alaska for two cents an acre? When did it become a state? What? Well, that must have been 1776, right? No. No. Huh. So, anyway, you need to learn to speak American. Didn't the senator from Alaska say that? American. America Vespucci spoke Italiano and Spanish. Huh? So the senators from Alaska, both of them, the senators from California, both of them, the senators from Washington, both of them, the senators from Oregon, both of them, have been collecting on this. I mean, I thought the salmon was all great. Then why did they find emergency acts for the last four or five years in a row and get, I mean, where does that money go? I don't know, but sure glad that Mike Lee and Betsy sold that flag. So, anyway, so this is big news because you're in denial about Fukushima. It's so great. Yay. Come to Alaska fishing. Okay. All right. So, the Cook Inlet, that's the most important of them all, right? What about the Nooshkak? So, Record returns, 100 pounds, 120 pounds beast on the kenine of the king salmon. King, king. They're called Chinook. Chinook salmon. So, record returns. Well, I thought Fukushima happened in 2011. Shook salmon go to sea for five years on average. What? How about the steelhead in Idaho? The Idaho steelhead. They live in the rivers. They're trout. They're not salmon. Trout or salmon, fools. So, no, they live in the ocean. What, what are you talking about? Steelhead? Steelhead? In Idaho? How do they get there? They go up by 15? Yeah, yeah. So, they go to sea one to two years. They go, they go to sea twice. The first time they come back in the first year, they're called half pounders. And then the second year they come back, they're a steelhead. They started to collapse immediately, 2012, 2013, off a cliff. Just like Kevin Mike said. Will you believe me when the Chinook, I don't call him king, the Chinook salmon, first came the god of salmon. Chinook. Well, how will I live? Then came the god of water. Will you believe me when they clash in 2016? Record returns, 28, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, just massive giant returns. To the point the Columbia River was doing videos, grandstand, yay, look at this. I mean, millions. We believe when they crashed in 2016. Oh, that ain't going to happen. Oh, they crashed in 2016. So this is the first time in Alaska history. Remember last year they come out and these numbers were getting so low that it was the first time they closed the spring fishing on the upper cook, including the Kenai. But they just close it for spring and says, we'll reevaluate it. Oh, 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 not this year. This year they closed it today, clear to August 15th. Oh, you don't think that's a big deal? You're not paying attention to these numbers. As you know, I guard these numbers. And I'm all over these numbers from the date, well, even before Fukushima happened. It's just Blanche Tradamus, son of Cassandra. Back, back then, I used to get many, many, many thousands of views because people were paying attention because they wanted to prove me wrong. I'm like, no. You know how many with no fishing last spring on the Kenai? I mean, you ever been up there? You ever seen a Kenai Chinook salmon? 
They're bigger than me. Beasts as big. They're incredible creatures. Absolutely incredible. That 1975. That's about the year the country started going to shit, right? Carry on my wayward son. How far to the point of no return? For the year. For the entire spring out. That's with no fishing. Now remember, on these rivers and these inlets, especially the Columbia, legally the commercial fishing and retail and the tribes can take out at least half. And they take them out before they get counted through the dam. And so these numbers, when you look at 2016, 1.47, almost 1.5 million, is really well over 3 million. Actually, from Ord FW, it's close to 4 million. Because they emergency stopped the fishing the last few years. Alaska, it's devastating. Oh, well, the economy, economy, Mitchell Act, Mitchell Act, Mitchell Act. No, that's Oregon. That's why the economy, economy. No, no, no. It's not the fishing retail industry. The economy, they don't want them up there. They don't want you coming up there. Here, come up and send our hotels. Spend, that's the last thing they want. No, they live on those fish. They eat them. That's their mainstay of their diet for the year. That's called life. Survival. Going, going, gone. What a catastrophe. So, you can go in denial all you want. The salmon or the smoking gun, because we don't catch dead tide pools. Oh, Kevin Blanche does, in heavy detail, as it happens. We don't catch dead humans in bone marrow transplant centers. Hippola. Oh, Kevin Blanche does. I was in one. I lived in one, remember? I don't eat, sleep, drink this. I sleep. I have the atom bomb disease. I have the Fukushima, the nuclear fallout. Pop, pop, oh, I'll be dropping. I don't eat, sleep, drink it. I sleep with it, literally. Open our surgery twice, rip me open, pour me out. There's things inside this scream and shout. So you can go in denial all you want. This is a big, big deal. I'm the first buy when this started happening. And people just laughed at me. <laughs> they were just waiting for me to be wrong. It's going to cause a heat bubble. They're waiting for me wrong. They're going to be spontaneous fires. It's going to get into the freaking pine nails. It's going to freak. They were waiting. <laughs> God, you're crazy. They're waiting. Well, crazy ass Blanche to prove him wrong. Oh, whoops. No, did that happen? If you took regressionary models and you'd run statistic and probability of the great Pacific genocide, this radical collapse in the salmon, in the gray whales, in the humpback whales, in the orcas, in the starfish, the sea stars, the tide pools, the f trees, the mirrors, the sea lions, the seals. You don't run this, say, this radical and cute collapse over this decade, the Fukushima, 13 years. The statistical probability of that would have been, well, trillions to one. Most likely Google. Oh, it happened. So in science, we call that an outlier. We don't call that. We don't do, I'm mystified, I'm puzzled, I'm stumped, I'm bewildered, I'm curious. In fact, that's asymmetric science. That's fraud. You get to work. When an event like that happens, you hypothesize, oh, my God, these are full-blown-out meltdowns. So they covered up, they covered up, they covered up, they covered up. They went into full-blown-out propaganda mode. Went after Kevin Blanche. That's unarguable. What they did to me, well, it's beyond vicious. You know, remember I got cancer in 2011. Acute. That's a 1% survival basis. The type of cancer I had, you don't survive it. I'm like the Pacific Ocean, biting, clinging, very staying alive. I went to a bone marrow transplant unit, a famous one on 11 11 11. Just that fact alone, my place in time. I'm like a Chinook salmon. I'm like a seal. So, you know, in Oregon, they're today, right here, right now, they are killing sea lions for eating salmon. Maybe that's what they'll do in Alaska. <laughs> I don't think so. Those people up there, they're not that gonzo. They understand it's ecology. They don't they don't understand it's all about economy, 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 economy. fuck the ecology. <laughs> Your health they don't they don't they get that up there. Not in Oregon and Washington. We gotta have money. We gotta have money. <laughs> kill them. Kill them. We gotta get some fishermen. That'll save it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the theater of the insane. Oh boy, on Balco. So, 
This is the first time they've ever done this. The Kenai's officially closed until August 15th, before they close it for the spring. And then said, worry about, they didn't even reevaluate. They're like, oh no. They have the boys out there, they know. And then NOAA, they lie. Here's the NOAA. Now what does NOAA stand for? National Ocean, 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 Ocean. Really? Not our job? Ocean? Jet stream moves left to right when three full miles down, so we don't do stump curious alarm, do we? Real scientists. What am I going to do? Stay? I was ready. That's what I was headed to one of these muck muck universities to have my golden handcuffs on and play their game. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Oh, they got caught. Some online sleuths dug out that they're all frauds. <laughs> fudgy numbers, the New York Times. Right? That's fudgy numbers. <laughs> Fukushima crippled. <laughs> Leaking, leaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's crippled like the fucking towers on 9-11 crippled. Fucking. We get to work. They're called an outlier versus outright liars. What's an outlier? So when something radical happens, being confirmed now, Ekman Blanche, I did this work in real time on day one. All these years. The day it happened, these are full-blown out freaking nuclear balance. They're going to push this freaking energy unforeseen. And if I have to hear one more idiot tell me about a freaking elephant foot, this ain't Chernobyl. And let me tell you something. They went underneath Chernobyl and in tomb. It is shit here. And I want to ask you something. Can rays of sunshine, can different photons, can different protons, can different neutrons, can atoms... Penetrate walls and go three? Of course they fucking can. Hello. How, how does that radio get into my house? How, how, how does that happen? Oh, is that electricity through the wall? Oh, no, I'm using a battery one. I'm using a transistor. I, I, I've got my windows all sealed up. I got an, It's still getting the house. How does that happen? Oh, mm -hmm. So these neutrons, protons, electrons, <laughs> atoms... You don't think they penetrate concrete? They don't think they, they penetrate everything and fucking anything. <laughs> uh, you think fucking a concrete pad underneath the fucking Fukushima core? Oh, that's going to stop it. These new photos are fucking proof. What I named Delmar Syndrome. You don't think that energy is pouring into the Pacific Ocean? And you don't think it's radical hot? Then how come the Pacific Ocean heated up 1.25 degrees over this decade? That's being confirmed now. You know how radical that is? And they point right to 2012 on certain. How come the 75 biologists now have gotten together and confirmed Kevin Blanche's work when everybody was laughing at me? I says, this is a starvation bat. You broke the chain on the wells. 75 says, yeah, the humpbacks, over 7,000 of them have starved to death at least. 75 biologists get together and confirm Kevin Blanche's work. So yes, it was a starvation event that started radically and acutely in 2012. <gasps> oh, oh, what, 2012 again? It was just caused by the blob. They don't finish what caused the blob. That's called acidification, kids. When the healthy species, which is called the milk, the soup, I call it the cloud, the Pacific Ocean, the plankton, you know, all them little organisms. I mean, it's a soup. What do you think whales eat? Big fish eat little fish. Huh. Anchovy sardines collapse. How about the muir starvation of all at once. Kevin Blatch reported in real time. All this, the seals, the sea lions, all in unison with each other, and all started in 2011, 2012. How about the heat dome over the western United States? How about the fucking fires? Right, direct path. All coincidence, bro. We don't do coincidence in science, do we? Anybody that says it's coincidence, anybody use mystified, baffled, stump, curious, alarm, they're not even, not even a scientist, they're a fraud. They're a criminal. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a basketball player, March Madness, what's a basketball? <laughs> I'm an environmentalist. I'm an ecologist. I have an NGO. I'm the EPA. I'm Greenpeace. I'm Sierra Club. I'm freaking a climate summit, freaking savior to the earth, the planet. I'm green, I'm green. What's 
Fukushima. Huh. It's the greatest ecological catastrophe. And so you can't do coincidences. So this phenomena is unarguable. The king salmon's clapped in 2016 on cue. They go to see on average at five years. In symphony with the trees, all this work every day, these studies are coming out 13 years after that. I showed right here. Just remember 10, 12, 13 years now in March, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, every day. They're lying, they're lying. These are full corn out meltdown. Gundershield says they're nothing but hydrogen blasts for years. Kelga said the Japanese are tidy people. They cleaned it up. Busby said that the Pacific Ocean should be a place to loot. Ken Buser now saying that when he got over there in their secret study, their KLK, the Kevin Lynch laid, that the radioisotopes in off the coast of Fukushima were millions of times the background. Millions. Of, this is his own words. It's getting better. Does it sound like it's getting better? Let me tell you about the radionuclides, the byproduct of a uh, nuclear meltdown. They last for hundreds of thousands, if not millions. We don't know what's for sure what they are because it never happened in my act. Sure didn't happen at Chernobyl. And they're going to tell you one at Chernobyl is more than three. Okay, Orwell, one partial core that they entombed, including mining underneath it, 700,000 men. But three full core meltdowns, there's never happened in the history of mankind. And eight spent fuel pools, including Mox Full, they didn't do shit. But that's more than that. All right, Winston. Winston. Two plus two, it's whatever I tell you, and everybody goes along. All my AdSense counts are going down a little bit when I saw it in Fukushima. Whoop! I couldn't sell enough survivalist gear now, freaking, on my site, so I moved on. <laughs> the greatest science teacher since Semmelweis, Kevin Blanche. This is a big deal. This is the first time they've ever done it, ever, in history, on the Kenai. So read it. These numbers are a catastrophe. In science, we call that an outlier. We have enough numbers. We have the starfish number, the sea star number. We have the mirrors numbers. We have the, all the seabirds numbers. We have the sea lion number. We have the seals number. We have the whale numbers now. We have the fires. We have the heat dump over the western United States, all 2011. So we can plug that down in, right, to a computer model. We can plug it all in with unison. And we can see the computer model, you can run regressionary models, run billions, millions, a gazillions of Google cycles. And we call that deviating from the mean. You know, if it was climate change, climate change has been going on for decades. It didn't just start, what, climate change didn't just start in 2011? Well, I got news, Fukushima. Nuclear meltdowns are hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Protons, the neutrons, <laughs> fucking the atoms that come off, you don't even know what the hell they are because this has never happened before. Livermorium, California, Tennessee, Fuktonium, the father of Fuktonium, Kevin Blanche. You broke the chain. You promised you would never break the chain. <laughs> so you run those models, tell me lies, tell me sweet little nuclear. And I hope all you guys shorted New Scale again when I told you to short it. Five puts on it when it was $10.41 two days ago because it's back. Well, that's a score. I accept tips. You know, one way, that's what this country is. Because you think your health is your wealth. Come fishing, spend your money in Oregon. Shh. We're going to get emergency bell out. Heads, they think they win. Tells, they think they win. <laughs> it's the ecology, stupid. You broke the chain. So we can run regressionary models in every single one. It's absolutely unarguable science now. Unarguable. Kevin Lash, the Great Pacific Genocide. In so I named the heat dome before it happened. I named it the Great North American, the Great Western North America drought heat dome bubble. Predicted the fires. Predicted all of them. First you hypothesized them, then you did the field work. Thirteen years of field work, including my own cancer. Then you defend your work against this tsunami, <laughs> the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate, and their useful freaking bootlickers. They call themselves biologists. Don't say the F word. Don't. What do you biologists do? What do you do every night before you go to bed? You pray to your nuclear energy god? <laughs> I've never seen such worship for an industry. It's disgusting.
we absolutely unarguably know the greatest outlier since the year 416, which was crack and toe for him, and it caused it and everything, is, is 2011. It's, we absolutely, it's, unar, it's absolutely unarguable in the Pacific Ocean, over the north, the western North American ecology. It's absolutely unarguable. So, the only thing you can argue about me with that, I mean, this is the greatest acute radical collapse in history. So we know something radical happened. It, something crazy changed everything in the Pacific Ocean in 2011. Did a meteor hit? Did a big meteor strike the Earth in the Pacific Ocean? That would probably explain it, right? What else could it be? Hmm. Oh, could it be a Krakatoa type situation? A new giant volcano that freaking just covered the biosphere. No. Do we have three full core meltdowns at Fukushima, Japan, and eight spent fuel pools, including MOX fuel, blow to fucking smithereens? And water being pushed on it for all these years? I presented the data over and over and over. That's real science. What I did is real science. That's the only likely suspect. Because this was acute. It wasn't like this. Descending down staircase, dead purple moon found in an elevator. No, it was like. <laughs> so, this is a big deal. So, go into now. Ignore my work. Thank you, everybody, who supported this historic work. Fight goes on. I cannot tell a lie. I cut down that cherry tree. Mike and Betsy Ross Lee sold that flag. <laughs> the Great Pacific Genocide. So we know that's a lie. That's a lie. Americana has evolved into one giant, the great experiment into one giant lie from the beginning. <laughs> Propaganda. Clean, green, too cheap to meter. You're going to even Louis Strauss, who coined the term too cheap to meter, said I was a fool, I was wrong. Said I did everything to stop Oppenheimer from dropping those bombs. He was an anti nuker, so was Einstein. The people that invented this freaking monster were anti. Not Oppie. Pop, pop, oh, Oppie drop. They never stop. Which came first, the nuclear energy chicken or the nuclear energy bomb? <laughs> Let's ask the Chinook Salmon. Stand to 